Hey everybody, how's it going? The Johnny Cage here, welcoming you back for more Let's Play with you too. And oh my gosh, we got a dragon on our team! A dragon and Fumi Tack. I got these guys both up to their fourth evolution. Uh, so we got an awesome dragon on our team now. He's not hungry, as you'll notice. And uh, you have to give him the flame fruit um, to evolve him. And there's also the secret fruit, which apparently I have four of. I don't know how I got the other three. But uh, you have to use that to evolve him. But I think I'm going to evolve them all... Um, once I get them all up to the fourth evolution, it'll just be kind of cool that way. Um, so, right now we got Dragon on our team. We're going to the North Dungeon uh, to go help out the Prince as he tries to fight the evil Adora. And we know that Decker's in here somewhere. Uh, but I really want to talk about this time around, guys. Is speaking of dragons, I want to talk about Skyrim. Because I'm going to be recording this and posting it on YouTube the same day. Um, yesterday, Skyrim came out. Came out. Uh, I wasn't able to get it at the midnight release. I got it yesterday. Um, on the damn staircase. Look at this. This is ridiculous. I'll figure it out eventually. Um, but uh, yesterday, Skyrim came out, and I've been playing it. And I've been telling you guys that I really want to do a playthrough of it uh, for you guys to see. And I think that everyone would be up for that. Um, I'm having some issues with it, as I kind of thought I would. Um, and the first thing that I want to talk about regarding those issues is that... Uh, this game is very graphic intensive. Um, you know, when you start up a game like this, it recommends um, the the graphical settings that it should have to, you know, um, or, or it just sets the settings. You know what I'm talking about to to use. So it runs really well on your computer, and uh, it set mine for low right off the bat. And I'm like, oh, that's not a good <laughs> that's not a good sign, because uh, I've got a pretty new computer. It's less than a year old. Um, it's got kind of a stock graphics card, which is I know my big problem. Uh, but yeah, I'm not much of a tech guy, and I thought that like the eight gigs of RAM that I have in it would kind of make up for the fact that uh, um, it's got kind of a stock graphics card. But I'm playing this game in the lowest settings, and it is running not not perfectly like it's totally playable mind you but it doesn't run um super super smoothly um which is uh it's something i've already gotten used to I, i've played about eight hours of it so far a very fun game um i could go into more detail about it but i don't want to spoil anything for you guys and if you're not familiar with the series then it's kind of pointless for me to be talking about it but uh it's very fun if you're a fan of the series you're gonna love it they made it very streamlined um they fixed a lot of small issues it's not a mind-blowing game that's so ma magically different from uh, oblivion but it's still an awesome game really enjoyable um, so with that said, I'm gonna try to try to do an LP of it. I'm gonna at least do a video where I'm gonna show you like this is what it's gonna look like um, if uh, you know I'm playing it on these low settings with the um, screen recorder going on at the same time. This is what kind of quality you guys are gonna get. And if you guys think that the quality is good enough for me to do a whole LP of it, I'll totally do it, no problem. But if you're like, yeah, it's kind of iffy. Um, then maybe we'll just forego it, which is a real shame, because I don't want to, because it's an awesome game, and it's, a lot of people want me to play new games, and this will be one of the few opportunities I have to play a new game, since I don't have a current-gen system, but that actually brings me to my next point, is that for this game, unless you know for a fact that you have a, a true gaming computer, you've got an awesome graphics card in there, um, I would recommend getting this game for the Xbox 360 or PS3, because then you're not going to have any kind of lag issues, you're going to be able to really enjoy the game. Like, I really, I really enjoy it, but when it, you know, when I put on the, uh, the software to be able to record, uh, the screen as well, I think that the lag might be a little bit too much to make it really fun to watch. Um, Shaggy joined the party. We got a new capsule monster, and I gotta name this guy after my good friend, It's Not a Beaver. Because, guess what? Shaggy is not a beaver, but we're gonna call him Beaver anyway. So, there you go. <laughs> He's a little tiki guy with a spear, if I remember correctly. So, uh, there you go. There's our third capsule monster of the seven. And, uh, I've got plenty of other, uh, other ideas for the guys that I'm gonna have on the rest of my team. So, uh, stay tuned for them as they come along. Uh, but back to what I was saying about Oblivion, if you've got a 360 or PS3, I, I mean, and if, I would recommend getting it for the council. Um, the graphics certainly aren't going to be as great for PC, but like I said, if you don't have enough, enough graphics card, um, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a little rough, I think. So, that's, that's just my opinion on it. Maybe people, uh, people can say differently. Um, it's a very enjoyable game, though. Very fun. Totally, totally worth it. Oh, good lord. I have to light up all the panels with these bumps. <laughs> oh, 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 good lord. 
Um, oh, another thing I was gonna say to you about uh, about Oblivion is that um, I would have to. I couldn't even get it to go on my laptop because I don't have a wireless router right now, which is I know it's a serious problem that I really need to have fixed. But um, I had to put it on my desktop. My desktop doesn't have um, a microphone. Um, on it. The only microphone I have is the microphone that I'm talking to you with right now that's built into my laptop, and that's how I do my post-commentary, uh, which is another thing. I would have to do a post-commentary, and I think that, um, oh, damn, they have to be all lit up, not not lit up. Jeez, what was I thinking there? Oh. Um, so, that's kind of a downside, because there are some games like, like this that you really want to play with live commentary, because then you can really capture their reactions when you see um, crazy stuff, because there's lots of crazy stuff. you got dragons flying overhead occasionally, you've got giant woolly mammoths that are roaming the world that was like, oh my gosh, what the hell is that the first time I saw one? It was totally, like, completely caught off guard. Um, you know, it's just a game that you really want to have. Um, a live commentary for, but I, and there's no way I could do that, unfortunately. It'd have to be post. So, you have to take, I have to take that in consideration, too, um, as far as if I want to do an LP of it or not. Uh, regardless, there will be another game after Pokemon. Um, by the way, uh, I'm gonna be posting this on Saturday the 12th, and then on Sunday, uh, tomorrow the 13th, the final part of Pokemon comes out. For all you guys looking forward to it, I know that I got a ton of views for my, uh, my, my, Fighting the Elite Four, and um, gonna do, gonna have some fun with the last episode uh, of Pokemon, I think. So, if you've watched any of it come out, um, enjoy it. It's gonna be the final one, uh, my first major LP that I've ever done, coming to a close, and it's a, uh, it's certainly um, gonna be a, a, a very fun time to close that out, and we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a good couple of laughs hopefully with that, uh, with that that finale. But anyhow, so Skyrim. Yes, I highly recommend it. All the scores it's been getting are completely appropriate for, for it. They, they've really streamlined the game. I guess uh, I'll talk, to talk a little bit about it. They, they did away with a class system. There is no class system in it anymore. You can pretty much do whatever you want, uh, which is pretty cool. And they've got a lot of awesome new skills that are really cool in it as well. So that's kind of, a, it's kind of what I think about it um, in, in a nutshell, without giving too much away, um, without talking to people that don't know anything about the game. And why did I move that pillow over there? Ugh. Oh well. Well, this was my rant all about Skyrim, guys. I'm running out of time. Thank you so much for watching. This has been The Johnny Cage. Please subscribe, like, comment if you have not. Tell me about your Skyrim experiences. I'd love to hear them. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.